feeder, come back around on XFM 104.9. You're listening to Ricky Gervais. Yeah, I'm with him as well, Steve Merchant. I was thinking of dropping that. What? I was thinking of dropping that, just going, because it's just too, let's all that. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkerton too. I mean, get to the music, so it's, hi, I'm Ricky Gervais, this is XFM. Sure. Here's Radiohead. Yeah. Some like, come out, that was Radio and XFM, I'm Ricky Gervais. Tony Blair, what's he all about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That sort of- Snap, that, yeah. Like, fast, because I quite, on a serious note, and you've always been saying it, um, I listened to an old show, because when Carl was compiling those things, I listened to an old show, and I listened to me, and I'm- I'm really concentrating now, because I sounded like the most inarticulate, brain-damaged old drunk <laughs> I have ever heard given a show. Yeah. I mean, I was shocked. Not finishing sentences, leaving out words, slurring, just doing noises yeah. that you understand because you know me. Yeah. So I'm really gonna make an effort for the listener. Yeah. It's not gonna happen, is it? You're gonna but, give up after about three But I records. thought you were joking. And I thought it was like, mm -hmm. oh, he's to, to taking the- there? Did it yeah. then, you see? Again, I don't quite know what that sentence meant. No, but- well, of course, I've got also your body language and your facial yeah. gestures, but obviously the listeners have got nothing they else. Got they've got just got the in. voice. They've yeah. just got the voice for it. That's all they've got. That's all they can rely on. Yeah. And, uh, and when Carl Pilkinson is the man holding the show together- When he's the that's most quite damning. articulate. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. How, how did I come across? You came across as lovely. I mean, I, I did an interview yesterday, right, and I was trying to describe you to this journalist, and I was going, it's like a cat can talk. Because the things you say, I just want to know what your world is. You know when a cat comes in, you go, where have you been? And it looks as you're like, you know, you can, it can nearly understand you. And you're like, I wonder, I'd love to know what that cat thinks. And with you, it's almost like we've got one. Yeah. Yeah. Did you like that? No, you no, can no. also lick your no. own testicles, I think, can <laughs> you? <laughs> so, okay. yeah. Do you play the doves? Doves, caught by the river on XFM 104.9, you're listening to Ricky Gervais. <laughs> Welcome, I hope you're having a lovely <laughs> Saturday. Were you asked to appear on Celebrity Fat Club? No, I, I uh, no was there I wasn't. any? Was there, was there? Seriously, did an invite come No, in? I, don't, I don't think they did. I, I, I knew about it and I was waiting for the call and I was yeah. gonna be insulted but it didn't come. It didn't come. It didn't How come. much are you looking forward to it? <laughs> I'm quite excited about it. I, I, I really am. excited to it, yeah, I don't yeah, know if people know, are you aware of this, Carl? This is this Celebrity Fat Club. It's a new, uh, one of those reality shows. It's ten celebrities, I think. They're all overweight, uh, and they've gotta lose weight over the course of the series. And they're, um, and they're celebrities. And they're celebrities. That's why I've called it that. Celebrity Fat Club. So yeah. who's they got? Well, I'm very excited because one of them is, you know that guy who was in Pop Idol but didn't win in the end, that really big fat guy, Rick, Rick. Waller, Fats Waller as I call him. And uh, I was reading about him on the, in the, uh, on the web earlier, um, it says uh, he's been told to lose 17 stone because they reckon he might be dead by the age of 40 if he doesn't lose weight. Seriously. How old is he now? I don't know how old he is, he's only in his 20s, isn't he? Well, that's still a good but 20 it says, years it says of cake it, it says, uh, he was shocked to find he weighed 31 stone when he stepped on the scales at the start of the show. 31 stone? 31 stone. But I love that's the fact- That's really big. I like the fact it says he was shocked to find he weighed it. Yeah. I had no inclination. I'd got- I'd got- I'd got- I'd, I'd kept my eye off the ball. <laughs> exactly. I? That must be all those breakfasts. I haven't stood on the scales for years and I didn't know how much I weighed, Rick told the son. 31 stone, right, that is having- that is- that is having a man on your back and carrying a man in your- just yeah. basically two men are going everywhere. It is obscene, because he looks- have you seen me? He looks like one of those people who's wearing one of those inflatable sumo outfits. Yeah. He's just a little head and like a sort of- oh, We're not- we're not having a go at, um, fat people. I'm having a go at him, really. No, because it might be glandular. It's not, it's breed. <laughs> exactly. Do you know what? I- this is true. I- when I did- I did that Room 101, and I did one they cut out completely. I don't think I'd cut it out on taste, I think it was just too long. Um, and I- and one of the ones I put in was fat people who say it's glandular, right? And they'd done the research and- 2% of obese people can claim it's glandular. The rest, they just eat too yeah. much. But right? the thing about Waller is he was going on there, gone on the telly, going, it's good, what a wonderful role model I am for people who don't conform to the usual pop star sort of stereotype. No, you're not a role model for anyone. You are a fat pig of a man. I'm sorry, right, but you are, no, right. Rick, but be honest with you, it this. is obscene. It's not his weight that d disturbs me more, it's his gums. Well. There are, oh, they've been through a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Haven't they? <laughs> they have been The weight does consume me slightly. Did you- do you remember when he did his version of I Will Always Love You? 
Yeah, but the, the I sun- thought he was just singing about like a buffet or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, outside the chip shop. <laughs> yeah, go away, Mister Waller. Yeah, D- people- no, just just let me watch the uh, kebab rotate <laughs> once more. No, can I lick the fat off the floor? No, <laughs> you can't. I just imagine those people who run all you can eat buffets when they hear him coming, they shut yeah. the door. We it's close. like a, it's one of those nineteen twenty speakeasy. The front changes into like a laundrette. <laughs> Just move on, fats. It's not. <laughs> it's, I can smell chip fat. No, 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 no. Move but, on. On you but, go. But um, I mean, we're not Olympic fat Brits. They are so fat. Like, Thirty-one stone is sort of you know quite big. But the American, that one. Did you see that one? Seriously, we talked about it before. That one on Jerry Springer, and he was seventy-five stone. Did you see seventy-five? He was in his bed. Honestly, it looked like a. It looked like a. Um, uh, I don't know, sort of molten lava yeah. in his bed, and it was re- it was actually sad, and I was really sad because he was, you know, he was in tears and he was going, "This is it, I'm going to do it." And Jerry Springer took the wall down, and they got him that to get him in a special ambulance and everything. But my point is this, right? When he got to say fifty stones, didn't he go? That's a lot, isn't it? I gotta be careful for a human. Exactly. You know, for for <laughs> yeah. someone that lives on land. Yeah. That yeah, is. Exactly. That is. I tell you, what the, I mean. The fact is they have to have special weighing equipment, so wasn't that a clue? That must have been. The fact they had to get in someone from next door to lift up a bit to tell him yeah. how much he weighed. Yeah, the fact that he featured on the Ordnance Survey map <laughs> should have been a clue <laughs> that We've given it's you time. your own mess. Yeah, you are, yeah. Stop eating. eating. Oh, no. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Always amazing to hear that, isn't it? Rich? It's Sugar. fantastic. It's such I can't a change great your tune. I was listening to Copper Blue, the album from which yeah. I was taken again. It's just fantastic. Old it really moldy. Was. Old moldy. Moldy old dough, yeah. as I call oh, it. Exactly. Bob. You've got a real problem with Rick Waller, haven't you? I just. He's, I, he's he, he turns t- my stomach. I know, but don't. Because he's say arrogant that. as well. Though. Exactly. Yeah, That's don't, the problem. Don't, don't explain to people that. No, he know, is a bit it's arrogant. His, it's his, it's his whole thing that you, it's the whole package, so yeah. to speak, that you don't Well, there's another thing in this quote because he's It's not just the fact that he eats too much. He, uh, he tried apparently to lose some weight. And, uh, it says, he said, the first month I lost 11 pounds, the next I lost a stone, but in the third my body did somersaults and I put on 9 pounds. I had a slip up. Yeah. I can't say when, why or how, but it just sneaked up on me. Yeah. I don't believe it. Yeah. Don't That's believe it just sneaked that, up on that him. That body's never done a somersault no. in its life. No. It just uh, sneaked, sneaked up, up on him. Me, yeah. I, that's, uh, that's it that. was the cakes again. Yeah. <laughs> it was the same old <laughs> cakes as before. It was exactly the same Sli- problem. Sleep eating. Yeah. It's called. It was the KFC bucket again. Oh, it was the family dear. size KFC bucket oh, for breakfast. Dear. Poor man. The other thing is that the, I don't think that's a very good shock tactic for a doctor to tell a twenty-something. Well, to be honest, you've got twenty years to live. Yeah, that's not. You know, and when I was 20. twenty, the thought of dying at forty was fine. Yeah, I didn't want to live to forty. Yeah. I just thought, oh, what can you do when you're forty? Yeah, just laying around <laughs> doing nothing, <laughs> eating, eating cheese. cheese. And then you got there, <laughs> and you discovered. No, but someone sent me something. Um, Sophie here sent me something, and she said, "I, I realise you're not Graham Norton, but I had to send you this." And she sent me the top of a little cream cheesy thing, and it's it's the brand name is Gervais. How oh, god, that from, is! From, have you been? They've named a cheese after I think you. It, I think it's a big French company, and this is from the Czech Republic. It's all over Europe, and so it that would be a dream come true, it, wouldn't it? If they named a cheese after no, you. No, I think it's. I think it's uh, probably you know ancestors, and so I've cheeses in my blood. Sure, quite. It literally, literally is. Yeah. yeah. It, Another it, heavy Friday it, night, was it? It, 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 it comes out of pores like those Play-Doh things. Yeah. I can squeeze out different shapes. Jane, like, bring the Stilton in. <laughs> it's Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this isn't nice. fried. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, so um, we can't really have a go at Rick Waller. I, 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 I eat too much, but, but I, you, yeah, I, but I you're not big. I mean, one of the other contestants on that on the uh, Fat Club celebrity oh, is, Fat Club is uh, another one is Jono Jono Coleman. Oh, we love Jono. Now Jono, he's he, I don't know, you know Jono. He's oh. that guy. He does um, he used to be on TV, and I think he does a breakfast show on a rival station, doesn't he? He's happy, isn't he? He's he's so trivial, and he's a really nice bloke, Jono. But it's funny because he does a breakfast show on Heart, which is is wrecking his own. There's a bit of irony. <laughs> I love Carl. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Do you know I, what I mean? Yeah, I no, love you. I can see where you're coming from. Yeah, that's good. But we've met yeah. Jono a couple of times. We saw him at a couple of, not wishing to say not uh, to show off, but a couple of awards dues. Yeah. And like that's showing off. But like people would have seen dead there. Well, yeah, but yeah. we <laughs> we went to one where everyone was in like tuxedos oh, or suits yeah. and ties. Not Jono. <laughs> Jono was wearing a pair of Bermuda shorts. Big Bermuda and a shorts, Hawaiian knee-length Bermuda shirt. shorts with just these little. But I saw him again Time another feet. time, and he had shorts on at yeah. a similar event. And I've seen him since in the street, and he's all. I don't think. I'm wondering if he can wear trousers. I don't think he can actually wear trousers. I don't know if there's a medical reason for that, whether he's just his no, legs th- are too fat. I think the material is a waste of money. I think it's just yeah. that you can get shorts that big and they're comfortable, and uh, 
You know, why do you, I mean, to be quite honest, well, why, I don't want to squeeze into a tuxedo anyway. Mm. So, uh, if you can go, I'd love to turn up those things in Bermuda shorts. Well, of course. Flip-flops. You know, but do you but think he started off by wearing, maybe he just had the upper half was a tuxedo with the tie and, and then everything. the shorts for And comfort. the shorts underneath and he would just have to come in to kind of sneak behind, you know, a, a sideboard. Potted plant. Or a potted plant. Or his kids, bring his kids ahead of him. Yeah. You know, uh, you're wearing clothes, aren't you? You're yeah, wearing yeah, trousers. Of course I am. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In yeah, you yeah. go, in you go. Kids move a bit. Well, no. <laughs> <they're>, <laughs> exactly. Of course I'm wearing trousers. Why would I? Of course I'm wearing trousers. And they just thought, like, this isn't fooling yeah. anyone. So uh, now uh, I'm going to make a wacky effort to sort of, you know. The next zone it. is, I've heard he's going in a grass skirt and a mm. garland around his. And he's yeah. going to come in limboing. But you you did ask if you could go to the BAFTAs in a dressing game, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> just so for ease. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Right. Is this talking about diets and stuff, right? Go on. They've come up with a drug that, um,. They, they tested it out on a mouse, right? <laughs> they, said, they said, you know, it's a problem that weight, weight is a big issue in the world and, you know, a lot of people are depressed and that, probably like Rick Waller. Well, right? I'm depressed looking at Rick Waller. Well, you know. Oh. I mean, you could, you could sort out Rick by, you know, Jono is an old man, he's got loads of money. He's not old. No, but he's getting on a bit, right? He's about no, my what, age. Hang on a minute. What I mean is he does his own shopping, right? So, I bet it's Sorry? Hard. What do you mean? Because he's like, uh, how old is he? Thirty-five. Right? Oh, he's yeah, got I mean. loads of money, he does his own shopping, so when he yeah. goes to the supermarket and he passes, you know, the, the sponge cake section, <laughs> it must be tough when you've got loads of money to burn that you go, oh, just one more. Yeah. One more. Look, uh, uh, so just, uh, we are getting close to libel here, I think. No, 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 <laughs> I'm saying how it is, because I've, right. I've tried, like, losing a little bit of weight. Have you? And it is difficult when you, you know, you're in Waitrose and you see a little chocolate muffin and think, well, <laughs> one more and I'll do without... Do you like a little chocolate muffin now oh, and again? Well, yeah, right. Is that your favourite thing? So a, the thing a is... A let him finish his point. So the thing <laughs> is, right, now with Rick, he lives at home with his mum, so why doesn't his mum just say, I'm gonna buy less this week, and if you eat it all, you're not getting any more? Yeah. <laughs> That, that sort that Does out. he live a with short, his mouth? sharp shot? I, I bet he does. I bet he does. <laughs> so he you, you don't actually know if this is true <laughs> or not? No, but, but anyway, right? So this, this drug they've come up with... <laughs> they've tested this on mice, haven't they? They've tested <laughs> it. No, I'm, just, I'm worried if they haven't tested it on mice. <laughs> Thank God for that. It's definitely been tested on mice. Definitely. They, they fed a mouse a load of cake. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> and it went a little bit chubby and he said, right, stop a minute. And then they gave it this drug yeah. that makes you lose weight. Yeah. <gasps> and it, its weight went down, but the only bad so side effect was its eyes were popping out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems, that seems to be fine then. <laughs> Let's give it to Jono. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any problem with oh, that. Let's, let's, uh, uh, yeah, Rick should get some I of that. Love. Yes, truth, Doc, look at these. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, Jono, your eyes are popping out. That happened to the mice. Mm. Sorry? <laughs> that happened to the mice. Mm. But what, what do, do you mean? That's the option. But, like what do you mean that's the option? So, so I love the fact that your choice is either be like a fat, happy man who has the odd sponge cake, or a stick man with eyes on stalks. I mean, Steve's <laughs> chosen that. All right, calm down. Oh, sorry, I thought mate. we were slagging off Rick Waller sorry, and fat mate. people. Sorry, let's mate. have a go at the fat people before yeah, we start on me, Rick. Yeah, no, I didn't. I forgot. You know what I mean, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I have got some issues, some body issues. You I know. know. But they, I mean, Rick Waller's grotesque, you know. Yeah, sorry about I'm that. I'm just a little bit weird. I mean, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Should we play a song? And well, I'm just a little bit offended. That's upsetting. That's upsetting. Vines out of the way on XFM 104.9. You're listening to the Ricky Gervais show with Steve Merchant and oh, we've, got, oh, we've got to try and get on though. Got there's time not for enough. That. No, not enough time. Let's, let's let's bang on. Let's do some observations. Some, you know, some <laughs> yeah. satirical. Take a sideways look at the week's news. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's the uh, fattest person you know, Carl? Is um, it an issue for you? Are you are you concerned about fat people? Only if I'm travelling somewhere and there's one. Sat next to you. That'd yeah. Be a bit annoying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think Ricky pointed out a few months ago when I when I went away, we were talking about plane journeys, and you were saying how it's a bit out of order. How when you go on holiday, right, you take your suitcase with you. Mm. I'm a. This is all. Was right. I saying this on air though? Is this my question? Because there's there's a reason I don't say things. No, no, on no, no. Sometimes. But I think you've got <laughs> a good point. It made me think. Oh no, it's. I know what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. It's sort of like if if you're not allowed to carry handbag on because you're a few pounds overweight. But there's a bloke behind you who weighs ten stone more than you. Yeah. Surely the whole package should be weighed. Yeah. Like you and your baggage. Absolutely. Can he, be should have, he should have a carrier stone. bag. And so that's... I can. So I can take on uh, a Labrador and a wheelbarrow. <laughs> yeah. He can take on um, a towelette. Yeah. Yeah. To wipe absolutely. his brow. Yeah. His sweaty, okay. fatty brow. Yeah. yeah. No, I absolutely, <laughs> absolutely right. So, yeah. uh, and that does yeah. wind you up, does it? But I don't, that's the only time. I mean, people can't help it. We don't want to, like, come across as if we're just having a go at people who have got. But they can help it. This is what we're saying. 
No, but that's, no, that, that's a little bit. But I'm talking about obesity. I'm not talking about people who are overweight or have got a problem with with eating and so on. I'm talking about people who are obese because that seems to me to be an indulgence. I mean, no, I read no, some no, statistics. Well, 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 if we're getting serious, it, it is a problem, isn't it? Because it, it's an eating disorder. So what what what's what's terrible is is laziness and kidding yourself. But the people who have, have genuinely got a problem. But it's, it's a genuine a concern for apparently or... for the future of our children. Apparently, it genuinely is. Yeah. Apparently, it costs. I was reading some statistic that it costs something like. Uh, America, it costs them like 119 billion pound dollars a year or something. But that's in, not what people are starving because fat people are eating all the food. I'm not There's saying people left. are starving because of fat people. Oh, you mean? I'm you mean, saying that it's a, no. I'm saying it's a concern. Oh, we meant we we'll soon have kids and they're hungry because next door they all the food. No, I just <laughs> mean that, it, that apparently because exercise now people aren't taking up exercise, kids right. aren't taking up exercise. That we will all be obese in years to come. Not all obese, but yeah. there'll be a, a big obesity. Well, problem. I suppose the natural state for the mammals we crave fat. We literally f crave fat for for hard times. But now, but now. There are no well, you're all saying offices typing but away. But, but our body haven't evo hasn't evolved yeah. to, to take our social uh, input in. Yeah. So we still act like mammals, mm. and we we eat and we crave it, and we like to store fat. Yeah. That's why we have to go jogging because we don't we don't hunt, we don't do anything. So it it it's not really their fault. You've, it's, it, it, I mean, it is about willpower and, and sort of like you know self. Hate but in years that, to come, we'll have just pictures, like kids will just have pictures of, they won't have NSYNC on the wall, it'll be uh, like sumo wrestlers. Mm. Or, oh, God, um, oh, oh, you know sumo wrestlers? I saw this thing about sumo wrestlers. Um, cause the, the, they, they're athletes, they go into the, this thing cause it's a big honour to be a, a sumo. It's actually really? true, right? Yeah, absolutely true. Yeah. So, you'd go along and you'd be nine stone, and you, they, they have doctors there, so you have to eat to get big. Right? right, and this doctor was interviewed. Jeremy's doctor, and he's going, you know, it, it is against. You'd think it's against the Hippocratic Oath, um, but um, whereas they do it anyway, I do it healthily. So he sells them. He gives them diets of like, uh, you know, ten pounds of rice, wow. nine pounds of fish, and things like that. And they get up, but now because it's such an honour, it's almost a spiritual thing to be a great sumo and that. Um, they have apprentices. Willing to now you know like when you're an apprentice, say um, uh, runner or something, you have to make the coffee, and uh, or when you're working an apprentice in the studio, you just have to clean the floor and stuff. Do you know what apprentice sumo's job is? An apprentice sumo. Go on. They wipe mm. the sumo wrestler's ass because they can't reach. They literally can't reach. Rubbish. And, uh, right. Uh, can, what, we'll give Who's out the phone. Who's taking now. that up as a profession? I know. I imagine that. Um, I'd 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 love to be a sumo wrestler. It's a great honour, and I'd love to work. Under you, uh, sure. So, uh, sure. So, uh, what will I do? Start press ups first. There'll be uh, some press ups, yeah. Okay, there yeah. Will be what, some press -ups. Get into the gym now, and uh, no, uh, I, I don't. Before you rush go off, go on, go on. You I'm will... starving. No, I can understand that. Go do on. You d would you mind wiping my arms? Right. Because I've just you can't reach. No, got no. I can't get the arms back there. Can't okay. get them down there. So, uh, and I but, but I'll be honest with you. A lot of this oriental food, it doesn't sit well with me. So it goes straight through me. To be honest, so it's quite messy. It's quite messy down there. It's right. quite runny. Okay. okay. So be careful. Okay. Um, you no, know, wear some gloves honor. if you want to wear gloves. Wear I gloves. I don't want to wear gloves. I don't want to wear gloves. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, an honor. A, it's an honor. This apprenticeship is two years, isn't it? You know, you're not going to take my feces and salad, are you? As souvenirs? Or no, no, no. I'll no. be mainly getting fat myself. Sure. Wiping your ass. Yeah. Great honour. <laughs> yeah, no, good. Well, Great no. honour. If someone could call in and verify that. Look, Carl, look at Carl looking at us like we've just said the worst thing no. ever. You this is true, like, apparently. Makes your eyes pop out and put in Forrest Gump in a wheelie bin. Don't look How at us like that. This is a. We're talking cultural science here yeah, and, yeah. and wiping asses. Yeah. So. Play a record. <laughs> yeah, it's low brow <laughs> and it's high brow at the same time, Carl. Sure That's an incredible picture. Oh, yeah, hey, uh, this is for all you people who, who, uh, who like the odd cake. This is Bowie and Sweet Thing. Do you like that? Nice. Clusters. <laughs> it's a structured show. It's a new leaf. This show in the new year is going to be structured. Set pieces. Um, hitting our marks, do you know what I mean? There'd be time checks, uh, uh, weather checks, <laughs> Rick cold out, um, if you, if you, if you're driving, careful on that. <laughs> so, do the prizes. Water check for traffic, like, yeah, if it's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, again, an arbitrary selection of, uh, goodies. What are those politicians doing? <laughs> Was that XFM news? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> right, what have we got? So we've got, uh, for those that are a fan of the movie Donnie Darko, which a lot of people rave about this year, a sort of weird teenage movie, then, uh, there's a sort of, uh, sweatshirt there. It is actually quite nice. It's not bad at all. It's, uh, it's medium, so if you, if you're a bit of a bloater, yeah. don't bother to apply, unless you've got a friend already. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we've also got here, um, a Graham Norton video. Certificate 18. All this. <laughs> so, it, please don't phone up unless, or, t sorry, don't email in unless you're above the age of 18. Yeah. 
Um, and that's, I think, the best of his TV show. Yeah. Look forward to that. It's um, a big stiff video, that, isn't it? It's a big <laughs> stiff <laughs> cock of a video. <laughs> Thanks oh, very much. I meant you the- say, yeah, yeah, you meant the bird. Yeah. Um, there's also a fairly mediocre British wartime thriller, Enigma, um, which a lot of people, it was hyped for a while, but it's actually interminable, I've seen it. <laughs> um, the, uh, first series here of The Kumars at number 42 on DVD, uh, I think that's award winning, so, uh, that's available as well. We've got two CDs by the look of it. We've got, uh, Pulp's Greatest Hits, which I don't think sold very well, and so presumably they are giving that away. <laughs> And Johnny Cash's, um, current, uh, album, uh, American For The Man Comes Around, there's some good cover versions there. Again, another big sell. Them. A big yeah. sell. We're really pushing um, this. But it, it, yeah, it's a quite kooky. Uh, Johnny Cash here does covers of things including Personal Jesus. Oh, right. By Depeche Mode. Right, yeah. uh, we've got Bridge Over Troubled Water, his version of that. <laughs> Desperado. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, it's, it's not bad. That's probably the best treat in that bunch. And, right. Uh, I'm assuming there's some questions there, Carlo. Yeah, yeah. Right, here we uh, go. If you're a new listener, the way it works, I'll give you a cryptic clue. And some wow. initials, and it sort of makes up a band. Yeah. Um, makes more sense when you hear it, I reckon. Not particularly. Well, not really. Although so, people do get it. I yeah. just worry about the, the state of our listeners. <laughs> Go on. Right, so there's three of them. You email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. It's email one. only. I email repeat, only. it is email only. We Can are have too lazy <laughs> to answer the phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. here we go then. Number one. Um, there's, there's normally two easy ones and a difficult one. Sure. So here we go. Uh, number one. Don't argue with him, he ain't gonna change his mind. Don't argue with him, he ain't gonna change his mind. Yeah, that's AA. AA. That's, yeah. So Just that's the first one. Him, he's not gonna change his mind. Um. What do you mean, um? You just, just, just got them written out, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm just thinking about what the answer is, because I didn't write the answer down to Oh, one. for God. Don't <laughs> worry, they get it. Uh, yeah, don't well, worry. Um, what do you, yeah. Well, you can't remember it, you came up with it, there's only three. I know, I know, it's weird, isn't it? No, it's not weird. It's incompetent. Right, the second one, anyway. I, I hope you get this. Um, <laughs> I hope you get this. <laughs> you know, didn't tell us the answer. This is a shambles. Hang on, right? on a Come minute. On, keep going. Go keep on. Going. He always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. P. <laughs> and you don't know. You don't know that is. It'll, I'm sure it'll come to me once I see it on email. If, uh, what do you mean? It, once they get it, you'll agree with them. I'll know if it's the one I had. Down as the answer. This is brilliant. Come Imagine on, Jeremy Paxman doing Amazing. that. Going, yeah, University what, Times. Is that right? <laughs> Go on. Right. So uh, that's give that us, one. Give us that one again. Um, he always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. P. But you're confused. I don't understand how you can be confused. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right, what's the, the, third, one? the third one. Uh, oh. I'll have to put that woman in the oven. And that's A B. All right, quickly give us them again. Right, so the first one, don't argue with him, he ain't, he ain't gonna change his mind. That's AA. Um, he always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. That's P. And, um, I'll have to put that woman in the oven. AB. All right. So the answers to this week's Rockbusters. Yeah, yeah. Can you give us the clues uh, again in the answers? Yeah. Uh, the first one was, um, don't argue with him, he ain't gonna change his mind. The initials there were AA. That's adamant. Adamant. Yeah. All right. That's, that's, good. that's, that's good. a good one. Uh, second one. He always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. Uh, that was P. Uh, that was Pixies. Right. <laughs> picks his. Picks his. It kind of works. Yeah. yeah. And the uh, third one. I'll have <laughs> oh, to, I'll let uh, you have that one. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to put that woman in an oven. That was A B. That was Anita Baker. <laughs> Anita Baker. <laughs> it's good. Anita Baker. Anita yeah. Baker. I'll let you have all three today. Sweet go. thing. David Bowie. Beautiful. Amazing, off Diamond Dogs. Absolutely. We went to see him in the week, didn't we? We did indeed, yeah, this little exclusive gig that Jonathan Wilson did for us. hundred people. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, lovely to see him. Yeah, lovely to see him again. <laughs> lovely to see, uh, see Dave again. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he's looking good. He looks great, doesn't he? He was, yeah. Was he bisexual? <laughs> sorry, I don't what, know why I brought Sorry, at the, at the gig? No, 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 it's just the fact, because I know he's married now, isn't he, with a kid and stuff. Yeah. But there was some, there was some sort of- Oh, well, I, I think, um, possibly, I don't know, I wouldn't wanna- These pop stars, they dabble with anything, don't they, I suppose? <laughs> <laughs> try anything once, don't they? These rock and roll stars. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, uh, if anyone knows the, uh, the, the truth behind Sumo. Yeah, well, how does Sumo begin? Because that's what I can't- I've never understood how it began as a, as a, as a sport, because it's- 
Do you know what I mean? Because you are, they are so huge. Well, so I reckon, it's not... I, I reckon it was a fat bloke who was picking on a little skinny bloke, and the skinny bloke <laughs> right. knew Kung Fu and so he goes, right, let's fight, and the fat was no punching. Yeah, went, What yeah. do you mean? He went, it's just leaning against each other. Yeah, And they went, yeah. well, you're bound to win. <laughs> <laughs> and they went, right, I've won. He went, yeah. bloke, okay. Yeah. And that's how it started, and the, yeah. the fat bloke He grabbed went, him. Are you, are you wearing a nappy? Well, I am pretty I'm, big, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm having problems now. I can't I, wipe my I can't wear a tuxedo. I just can't. Exactly. I just, you know, that's the next step for John who's been banned wearing a thong in public. <laughs> so... But seriously, if anyone knows how Sumo began, I'm genuinely interested, email maybe, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Uh, just, because I, I, you know, Carl, what are your thoughts? Where do you think, uh, where do you think it began? Because it's an, don't you think it's an odd sport? I mean, it is a weird... They've always got nice hair. They seem to care about the hair a bit. Oh, sure. So he's sort of <laughs> nicely pinned back. Yeah. Are you yeah. ever asked to, when, when people are doing like, you know, uh, um, Sharma's Britain or, you know, people are doing like big <laughs> historical <laughs> they, they say, well, well, we'll ask Carl about this. He might, yeah. he might have an opinion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They've got I'd nice like to hair. see you as a pundit, definitely, uh, on those kind of, on news night. It's yeah. just that he, I think it's a funny one because the whole idea of sport is to keep fit. Yeah. Mm. And that sort of. You know, it's a yeah. bit of an odd one, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Well, it's it's the same as sort of like weightlifting. You have to go through all that all year to see if you can push up, mm. you know, something heavier than someone else. But you have to walk round in a golf buggy to yeah. to you know to that one yeah yeah and take steroids and. Well, I mean, look. I mean, the other day, you know, I, I don't do much sport. I think living in London, there's not that many areas you can go and. Uh, Actually, I'm probably wrong there. Well, there's all the gyms and yeah, sports clubs I'm, and I'm stuff probably here, wrong and the on parks that bit, and the, the roads. But, but yeah. look how like, excited I was going round to your place, Ricky. I yeah. you had a, like a little garden. Yeah. I haven't got a garden. We played and football, was, didn't we? And we had a little. Well, I did. No, you were rubbish. I beat you in penalties, um, five two, and then I beat you on uh, uh, knockout. I think ten no, no, four. No. And he always makes an excuse. He goes, "No, start again. We didn't say that." He, or I'm cracking up. So, you, have you seen Ricky play football? No, I've not really seen either. Right, play uh, it's not football. Y you sort of do it like um, it's like when you get a cat and you chuck it some wool. You sort of jump on it and lie on top of it so you can't get it, and then sort of kick it with his feet lying on the floor. <laughs> Really? No, what I mean is, he fouled me, and I still, I was on one Are you hand sure up. he didn't just collapse? Because yeah, of all the stress <laughs> and the exercise. That's the other thing, that's he the He just other tumbled thing. off the floor, <laughs> still and poured out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I was too strong for him. No, yeah. no. I was too strong for you. Yeah, but you didn't last long, did you? It was like, if, if football matches- I didn't matches, want to last if football long. Matches went they, just, they just bring me on for the first ten minutes. <laughs> Who suggested that you two play football? Did you suggest this, Rick? Yeah, we went around there, yeah, well, yeah. We had to go and football in the garden, yeah. Yeah. What else do we do? Uh, I'll, I'll look, just had a look at your salamander. <laughs> right, is that you from Ismore? <laughs> Cause I know that when I first went into your house, uh, you did, you used to show your genitals to people a lot more than you do now. Oh, you well, definitely used to do that, you used to think that was hilarious. Yeah. I don't know what it is that you get to a certain age, men of a certain ilk yeah, get well, to a certain Jonathan age and just start yeah, out, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, when Ross came in he did the same. Yeah. It's that weird... Yeah, I suppose, I thought, oh, you've seen it now, I thought you've seen it, you know, yeah. you weren't, you weren't impressed the first time <laughs> to be quite honest, to be honest with you. so, uh, yeah. 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 Um, no, it's, you know, it's, but, like, you always, know, nice. it's always, always, always a treat to see Yeah, it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. what do you make of Ricky's place? What do you, what do you make of it? Again, that's not a euphemism. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't mean that I've got, it's like a flat fish. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> do you want to see my place? <laughs> yeah, there it yeah. is. <laughs> it's, it's alright, I mean, I've, I've, you've seen better? I've, the pictures you've got on the wall of, of, uh, I'm not, not keen on the same sort of art as you are. Right. Have what sort of art? Because, um, yours is quite sort of modern art, uh... He's got this big, like, bit of, uh... Abstract. ...canvas with, like, just, just loads of dark colours on it. Yeah. It looks really miserable. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, it, it sort of brings the place down. <laughs> If, if you're gonna sell it, that woman on Channel 5, the house doctor, if she came round, she'd say, take that down, <coughs> and you'll get double for it. <laughs> it's just, oh. it's, it's, it, I oh. thought it was, um, like a... A wall he was Take testing. that down, get that salamander out, and just pop those back in your trousers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, he didn't know what sort of colour to use on the wall, so he's, he's like, been putting a little bit on, no, that's not good, I'll use like a bit of a darker colour, yeah. and it's just loads are of you, different- Are you Brian Sewell? Cause you're just saying- <laughs> So what kind of art do you like? I'm intrigued. Yeah. I, I like, uh- Athena. I like Lowry. <laughs> what? <laughs> Lowry, the worst painter in the world. The most no, overrated. No, no, no. You see, it depends. You're you're getting excited about Rubbish. your your stuff you've got on. Lowry, right? Yeah. You can look at. He his really is the Brian and Michael. No. Of the, well, but it's real, isn't it? 
Right? What do you mean it's real? It's real. You look at his picture and you <gasps> see, like, little disabled people walking about. You see kids <laughs> That's playing, not real, then. playing with, like, footballs. You've got your, your, your dad coming home from work, working in the factory. Got yeah. a little dog barking. It's, it's life, right? <laughs> and you can look at it for, like, ten minutes, <gasps> go away, go and watch telly or something for a bit, yeah. go back to it, and you'll see different things in it. Really? Yeah, really? What, is it like one of those magic sure, eyes? You sure that's not a telly? Yeah, you'd you be sure looking out the window, Carl. You sure you weren't watching When the Boat Comes In? People <laughs> will agree with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than your stuff that you buy. <laughs> <laughs> this show started off slick. Yeah. We had something to say. No, I th we, um, What we, are you we, talking we, about? We're now discussing we art. Were, we were taking the big out of, of, of fat people, and yeah. now it's And now you've taken it all highbrow, Carl. Play a record, we'll come back to fatties. <laughs> Right. Song's a phrase coming soon. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, what is it this week? What's the, what's the phrase? We're, um, remember the story I told you ages ago about, uh, about my neighbour having a horse in the house. Oh, yeah. Having yeah. a horse, yeah, a horse, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what's happened with that? Lenny Henry doing it as a series? So, uh, uh and People nicking your ideas left, right and centre. Well, that's, that's the phrase we'll be using anyway. What? Um, my neighbour had a horse in her house. How many words is that? Six. My neighbour had, so there's no grammar either. My neighbour had horse in the house. <laughs> My neighbour had horse in house. <laughs> what? I wait. What is the phrase? My neighbour had horse in her house. Add or add? Is there? Oh, are there any <laughs> prepositions? Are there any prepositions in this sentence? Look, don't judge it beforehand. You see, okay. I'm turning over a new leaf. I think this is a great idea. I think Carl's a genius, and I look forward to hearing this enormously. Yeah, okay. And I won't be sick on your leg, or squeeze your head, or make you jump when you're making the cup of tea. <laughs> what have we got then? That's that. Right. Whole, that's the silly side. Now let's get on with the proper show. Right. <laughs> song, songs, a phrase. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Um, on to the classy stuff. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to do the prizes first? Right. Uh, no, then we're all right. Here they are. I haven't seen these, but I'm excited as ever. All right, we have a T-shirt there, arbitrary T-shirt that you have probably stolen off of someone. What does it say? Da, da, da. Is it the red, the red hot chili peppers? So oh, that's, that. that's not too bad. It's a big T-shirt there. Um, oh, do, 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 do. on DVD. This, uh, should you be giving this away? This looks like it's the film. Don't say a word. Yeah. And it's um, it doesn't have all the proper packaging. It's literally the. Uh, the disc, the DVD disc, just loose. So enjoy that. The current album from Oasis, uh, Heathen Chemistry, uh, DVD, on DVD, The Life of Mammals, the complete series, the David Attenborough recent DVD, uh, that. Walking with Caveman, which I think is a DVD, it's all currently on TV, isn't it? And, well, there um, you go. Not also bad. the X List, which is a good new compilation, double CD compilation from XFM with loads of stuff on there, including Nerd, Snoop Doggy Dog, uh, Athlete, all sorts. Go on then, Carl. So not bad, actually. Simple nice stuff. one. Why right, don't? so, uh, yeah, it's a phrase that, that's been said. At some point, I've said a lot on the show. We've had like hairy Chinese kid. <laughs> we went back to uh, my mum had wind for five minutes and that. Uh, today we're looking at uh, my neighbour had a horse in a house, right? Yep. If you remember, we were talking about that probably about a year and a half ago now. Yeah, yeah, of course right. people, of course people remember. They've been talking about it ever since, Carl, I imagine. Yeah. Well, so it's famous. It's, the, it's a world famous phrase. My neighbour had a horse in her house. <laughs> right. So this is uh, this week's songs a phrase, and what I've done is I've got songs. With those words in that make up that sentence, yeah. you get an email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. There's six different songs, right? You email in with what? I what don't know. There is six. Me neighbour add horse in house. Is it really that sentence? Me neighbour add a horse in a, a, a her house. It does work. Honestly, it works. Okay, yeah. Right? Okay. Don't bother explaining. Just ready? play it. Right, yeah. So here's the. Uh, there it is. We're just going to do it. Head horse in a house. Right? <laughs> what in <laughs> God's name <laughs> was that? Yeah, name the six songs. Head horse in a house. Yeah. <laughs> Are we naming the artists or the songs? Either. Uh, artists. Anyone who gets anything can get a prize. What's more, Carl? Artists, here we go. Head horse in a house. That's tricky, Carl. That's very hard. Once more. Head in a house. <laughs> <laughs> Email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. I'll give it. Another letdown. Another letdown. It's brilliant, this. No. 
No. How can you just say that after I've just been stuffing grapes in my face and well, that? Well, you, you found- you you didn't get one burger in, right, even when you tried to- to chop it up, there's three, right, so that's it. it well, Steve, out of the goodness of his heart, went to McDonald's, okay, I got some grapes, you- at 62. That's got nothing to do with this, though, this is my game show here. Bob Olness didn't say, yeah, Blockbusters is good, but I never see him eating grapes. <laughs> So this is a different thing, forget that. Right? <laughs> Here's Eclipse again, here's Eclipse. <laughs> oh, you know I said I was gonna turn over a new leaf and not criticise your ideas? I think it's the end of this one, mate. Oh, he's done it again. It's atrocious. Ricky Dr. Vase at xfm.co.uk if you've got any idea. Um, we should give, um, the prizes away. Yeah, well Carl. this is- this has been dreadful, that, this thing. We started <laughs> off well with him trying to force burgers in his mouth, and then he'd come up with this tat. I mean, this is- this is the end of this, cause it's- I mean, it was shoddy to start with, and I let it do a couple, well this is- oh, yeah. not only- well, uh, 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 I'm just saying, this is what I was saying in the pub yesterday when you're trying to be sick on me leg. I was saying, come up with new <laughs> ideas if you don't like them, but you diss them on air. Well, it's just disappointing, isn't it? And oh, I said, and I even, uh, right. What's that? I was disappointed when I was choking before. <laughs> We were disappointed as well. <laughs> yeah, you didn't try. You didn't try with the grapes. You were just like right. chewing on that. Yeah. You meant to just throw them in and swallow them. Songs of phrase. It was six songs. It yeah. sounded like this. Boring. Right, what are they? Just give you answers. Six songs there. We had uh, Lionel Richie, My Destiny for my. Tricky. Neighbour. Oh, that's XFM. Ooh. My neighbour was uh, space. Space yeah. neighbourhood. Mm. Had uh, Ari Connick Jr. Had to be you. Yeah. Right. It had. The neighbour had. A horse. Horse from America. America. America, yeah. Uh, another horse. In, in, the in was Lisa Sansfield with, uh. <laughs> pathetic. In all the right places. Oh, pathetic. Did anyone get that? Did anyone get that? And no one got, no one got, one got that. No one got that. That was pointless. Alright, well, the most, well any, the most anyone got was three. Yeah. And, uh, we're gonna give it to Deborah. And that's yeah. possibly Deborah and Kate. They right. got at least three of those, so well okay. done. Okay, well done. Yeah, there's prizes on the way. That's the end of that. Badly Drawn Boy, something to talk about on XFM 104.9. You're listening to Ricky Gervais. Well then, there's Steve Merchant. Well, let's well. just get on with a- and We've already had a complaint. Yeah. Someone yeah. saying, your TV show's so good, why is your radio show so hard work, you useless fat? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. You can't- you can't please everyone, Carl. It's like Lowry. Some people like Lowry. Some people like that fellow who did the dark painting for me. Talking of, uh, emails, there was a, some guy, I don't- he hasn't mentioned Larry's his name. Rubbish. Or maybe his name's Steve. But he said that he was checking out the, uh, the Office DVDs. DVDs going on sale, isn't it, soon? I think the video <laughs> of the DVD of The Office have gone on sale soon. But he was checking out on Amazon, and he said that, uh, <laughs> it says on there, and I did check it, double check it, that, uh, it includes, uh, some special- some special frottage. On the- or special frottage. Oh, is frottage. That correctly that's pronounced. The, is that mutual- Doing it to each I other. I think it's, or, it's is it the, or, or is it the rubbing up against each other? Yeah. It's one of those, it's, isn't it? Yeah, it's is that what it is? It's where you rub up against people? I don't know, it's something like that. Yeah. But, so there's some special frottage on there. Yeah. <laughs> <that forwards laughs> I, think they the mean, I think they mean footage. I'm imagining uh, so. If you're buying it for frottage, you are going <laughs> yeah, to be you're disappointed. Be disappointed. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, um, <laughs> the, 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 we're gonna, the, that first hour then was about eating too much, wasn't it? And I think we can- That's essentially that, what we talked about, yeah. That's probably right. Do you, you know, um, I, I read something interesting. You know, they've banned- I used to get the Guinness Book of Records every year from about the age of ten onwards. And, uh, <laughs> it, I went straight, went to the section, like, you know, the biggest, fattest, all that, right? And there used to be gluttony records. And it was like these ridiculously looking Texans and how many hamburgers they can eat. And of course they were- it was just so dangerous. They've they've put it down to how many hamburgers you can be eat in a minute now. Yeah. And so they've brought it down to things like seventeen. Yeah. You know, they still yeah. burst their stomach glass ball. But um uh I, I remember I was um I was watching the Big Brother when they had to break that record, you know, like eating sweet corn and balancing. I was thinking who wants to beat that record? Yeah. The most of the records in the Guinness Book of Records exist because no one wants to contest them. There's one in there, um, a, a bloke there, that had his pitch taken with a milk bottle on his head, <laughs> and it's the record for having a milk bottle on his head. Yeah. And it's like four days, I want to go, <laughs> no one wants to beat that record. Mm. And there was one in there, this is amazing, this is absolutely true, right? L last year's Guinness Book of Records, it says, um, uh, in, in Thailand in 1980, a, uh, uh, some sort of, um, uh, temple or ceremony, these, uh, incense burners fell over and I think crushed people or burned people to death, seven people died, and it's under the heading, Worst Jostic Disaster Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon oh. they're gonna try and beat that one? Oh, God. 
There's a there's a guy up north, right? Who's um <laughs> he's in the Guinness Book of Records <laughs> for being able to put a you know, a car, a little mini. Up his no, ass. On his head, right? And you think, Oh that's good. But without the engine in I love the fact that he puts this thing that still weigh, weighs like, you know, 50 stones on his head and you're going, boo! Yeah. What do you mean he puts the mini on his head? He, um, he wears a little cap with a little bit of sponge on. <laughs> <laughs> they all do up there. And they've, uh, and he picks up this mini. Goes, yeah, go on. And he takes, like, two blokes to put it on his head and then he walks around for about ten seconds showing off. But he doesn't have the engine in it. So, I mean, if you're gonna do it... Yeah. Go the whole hog is what yeah. you're saying. See, what I think, the reason I think he didn't do it with the engine in is because he couldn't, Carl. Well, yeah. we'll pick, do a motorbike or something. My mate went to see that, what's that circus that came to London? And that was in, uh, the Camden, and it's sort of like really weird sort of gothic thing. Oh, right, yes, I remember. And, uh, there's a, uh, 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 he said at one point this nude woman got into a, a jar. He went, but it was a big jar. Yeah, he yeah. said it was a jar big enough for a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to go, boo! <laughs> yeah. But, you know, get into a jam jar. <laughs> exactly. And, you know, I'll be applauded. But <laughs> yeah, that, it's yeah. a big jar. That's a jar shaped like I, you. I will get into a wardrobe. <laughs> what, a big wardrobe? Yeah, well, I can get into that. No, you, I will get into the well, wardrobe. I remember I told you about this before, Rick. I was devastated a couple of years, I think it was a couple of years ago, when I read about that guy that won the world record for staying underground the longest. Like, oh, what yeah. happened, right? He he got in this box and uh, he was buried like 10 feet underground. It was in a pub car park in Mansfield. Yeah, and the only way he could communicate, him. the only way he could communicate was through this tube that they had that went up to the surface and he could talk to people and I assume that was how he got oxygen. And, um, and it said that while he was down there, Right, he began and ended a relationship with yeah. a woman. She, right? she a was a passerby. She chatted to him. Da, da, da. They started this relationship and they ended it. Right now, my point was right. Obviously, you know, my luck with the ladies is not not triumphant. And you know, I haven't got a girlfriend or whatever. You're not Don Juan. Well, yeah, exactly. Right. And what I'm saying is, when you read that there is a man ten feet underground pulling women through a tube, yeah. You've got to sit yourself down and ask yourself some very serious questions. Yeah, I yeah. was a little bit, as you can imagine, a little bit upset from that. the Midlands. Exactly. Yeah, a little bit devastated. Oh dear, really upset me. Do, do you? St what is your method now of? Ch do you still throw little rocks at them and go over here? <laughs> yeah, I. Um, there was a kid I remember at our school, Mark Johnson, when we were like ten or something, and we were talking about Guinness Book of Records, and Mark Johnson went. Yeah, 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 I'm in the Guinness Book of Records. <laughs> I thought, I'm intrigued. You're a ten-year-old. <laughs> I said, go on. He went, now, I don't, does this qualify? Does this qualify? He claimed that he was in America once, and he went to see, um, a baseball game. And the, supposedly that game was the world record for the number of people in an audience for a baseball game. It was like some massive stadium, I, I, I and this was the I, most people I'll ever. I'll tell you what apparently. his account. I and don't he claims he was there. I don't reckon it was listed. Well, I don't reckon Mark Johnson got his name <laughs> no, on that list. Exactly. Uh, and exactly. Ross McWhirt would be going, "Well, that's the whole book." But I think we I list remember him all. looking it up and going, "There it is. I was there." Yeah. Yeah. Does no. that count? I mean, no, I don't. Well, I've done a similar thing. There was an ice hockey game in Manchester. Sure. And they filled it. It was the uh, the arena. Yeah. They had an ice hockey game, uh, and I was part of it. But I wouldn't go around bragging. No. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, now you've no. brought it up, I'm telling you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you're not going to boast about it. No. Nah. We're going to get a t-shirt made. What's the best thing you've ever done? I don't what? know. I just... Come on. What's the best thing you've ever done that we will go, did you really do that, Carl? You see, it's weird, cos I've been thinking about this quite a bit. Cos, cos, uh, I'm 30 on Monday. Are you? Are you really? Yeah. Oh, you're just going to try and get presents, aren't you, from the listener? No. Nah. But I but, say listener. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um I kinda was thinking have I had a good thirty years? <laughs> what do you I, think? I don't know. Carl, is this gonna get a bit melancholy now? Yeah. Because we've been having a few laughs at the expense of fat people. I'm not sure you wanna we want you to bring it down now. No. We, 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 like, we've we've been having a jolly laugh about people who are morbidly obese. It's yeah. always when my girlfriend's working away, I always think about odd things. Do you? Odd times. Doesn't she leave you shiny things or videos in so you don't get you don't get too depressed and you can... Well, what, well, la last night when I sent you that text? That was... Right. I'm right, let's play a record. This sounds right. intriguing because I'm right, worried it is intriguing. Bit... It's incredible. Right, play a record. Right, w wait for this text that Carl sent me. Is it him? Oh, all 
all along the watchtower there by Jimi Hendrix. Beautiful. Can right. I just say straight away, Rick, before you carry on, um, we've had some people emailing in, um, about the origins of sumo wrestling. Yeah. But they've sort of cut and pasted a huge ream of information from the web. Thanks very much, but... We need bullet points, or not, not, don't bother. You're wasting our time, frankly, with any kind, any, too uh, many sentences, uh, proper grammar. We're talking about Ricky Gervais here. Yeah. So not just, that I'd read the bullet points either, you'd read them too. Exactly, me. but exactly, so but your, your concentration would lapse so quickly <laughs> that it just yeah. needs to be key words, you know, arse, sumo, <laughs> yeah, yeah. things like that. Yes, arse wipe. <laughs> yes, I arse need, wipe, sumo, correct. Yeah, or maybe even a picture of someone wiping an arse with a tick <laughs> next exactly. to it. If you could get yeah. words if out. You could, if you could, maybe if you could send through the orange origins of sumo wrestling in sort of diagram or <laughs> sketch form, yeah, or in yeah. a kind of comic book, or one of those flick books. <laughs> that just, you just maybe draw a quick flick book, send that in. <laughs> but thank you very much. But thanks for thinking of it. Um, I woke up this morning, yeah. Feeling fine. It's not a blues song, and uh, I turned my phone on, and it, it was from Carl, and it went, forget it, I've made my mind up. And I thought, wow, what is that? And I forget it. I've made my yeah, mind. Yeah, I went, Carl, what is it? He went, oh no, it's about the text I sent you last night. I went, well, wh what was it? I just got this text. He went, ah, oh. oh, I was just wondering. I was, I was thinking last night. He said, supposing you had to have your hands removed. Sure. <laughs> right? <laughs> 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 and the doctor said, well, you can either have them stay like that with stumps or I can sew feet there. <laughs> what would you have? <laughs> and I was bleary eyed and I went, the stumps? He went, yep. Yeah. I went, all right? He went, yep. Yeah. And then and what that, was his follow up text to that? And then I got the text, it was obviously before it, and it went, and it was like quite serious. What, what would you do if so he's not doing hands? Would you have stumps or the feet? Right? Now, the way, uh, when I said he's made his mind up and I went, the stumps, he went, yep. Yeah. I think secretly he decided on the feet, <laughs> but was too embarrassed to tell me. <laughs> There's a little, little bit of what would you do? Because it's it. But why night, did you think of this? Why did you think of this? Girlfriend's How did this away, come back? right? Yeah, no, that's not why you start thinking bizarre I'll, surgery I'll you devices. Now, right? I'll let you into my little mind, right? Last night, I um, <laughs> I had some beans on toast, right? <laughs> She was away. It's good already. Right. She was away, so you had some beans on toast. Right. She went wild. Yeah. Right? Now, I was stood up. I live on, like, a, on a high street, right? So, um, I'm washing up. I'm looking out the window. First thing that had me attention is, I can, I can look into other people's flats, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it was weird how all these different lives were going on. I was watching them. And everybody had the telly on and was watching Volcano, right? Which was on last night. Right. right. And I thought, oh, that, that's weird, right? I can see them all watching it. And it was like a little Chinese lad who was dancing around in some underpants. <laughs> yeah. And then there's a little old woman who lives downstairs who was reading a book. And she's always reading a book every night. And it's like, I have a better life than her. And then there's, a, there's like some sort of bouncer who's always getting ready to go out late at night yeah. with all the black on. He looks like a bouncer. So I was watching all this life yeah. going on. I thought... Did you witness a murder while you were doing it? <laughs> yeah. It was like, it was like that sort of sliver film where that bloke had loads of tellies watching yeah, people's sure. lives. So that was going on in my mind. And then I was washing up and I picked up the plate and I thought, oh, it's amazing, isn't it? The, the human body. The way you can just sort of, you know, I want to pick that up. And you do. Yes. And the way your hands work, right? Yeah, You've got yeah. five little digits, but it's, it's just the right amount to do it's what you, Yeah. To do it's what you've got to do, right? <laughs> so... So I'm, I'm wash- I'm cleaning the plate. <laughs> Sorry, Carl! Stop! It's just the right amount. Might be one of the most genius things I've ever heard said. I would love David Attenborough to phone you up and say, Carl, how do I word this? About the evolution of the mammalian front, uh, limb. Just go, we'll just say it's the right amount, it? <laughs> But it is. It one, is, one of course One extra would get in the way. Yeah. And one less would just make it a little bit more tricky when picking up a, a bit of a slippery dish. Sure, or, buy, or buying gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> a slippery dish. So then, I, I was thinking, oh. uh, imagine like going to the doctors and he's saying, yeah, everything's all right, your heart's good and everything, but... <laughs> your heart's good? What, your Larry's or...? Yeah, your heart, your heart, your heart yeah. you're, you're in good form and what sure. have you. It's good news, you know, I had Giano in earlier, he's not looking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I had Fats uh, Waller. But yeah. you're, you're all right, but your hands need to come off. <laughs> right. <laughs> Blimey. But, That's bad, like, I'd get a second opinion initially. <laughs> But I bet a good news, I've got a nice pair of feet I can sure. sort you out with. Yeah. And he puts them on, and then I was thinking, right, first of all, <laughs> washing up, what would that be like? <laughs> but, Steve! <laughs> I, that'd be tricky. Yeah. And then the second thing was, 
it'd probably ruin the, the, sort of the shape of your jumper. Because <laughs> you had to keep putting the feet through there. Yeah. And then I thought, but I could still cycle in. Okay. To work. <laughs> you could run in. Well, that's the thing. You'd was, be like, you'd be really yeah. fast. For... Well, that's what I was thinking. I thought I could still cycle because I could balance. And then I thought, but the only thing is, I probably couldn't pull the brakes. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> because of the little short things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, like you, I thought, but then again, you'd run in in half the time. So that's what was going on in last night. Right. That's what I was thinking about. Did sure. you, did you, how long did this take? <sighs> well, how long does it take to wash up? Right. Because <laughs> I imagine you just being there for like all night. <laughs> Probably 25 minutes. How long did the little Chinese fella dance for in his pants? He's always doing it. Last night he was at it for like 10 minutes. Just, yeah. And his girlfriend never sits in the same room as him. She's always sat in the bedroom. <laughs> She's going, you, you dance in pants again, I go in next yeah. door. Well, she was in the bedroom. She's always in the bedroom, sat on the floor, on the mobile phone. Right. All really? the time, yeah, it's weird how people's lives are just like, it is like that Groundhog Day thing. It's like, you know, he's jumping about in his underpants. <laughs> the old woman's sat there reading a book. Yeah. And that's what got me thinking about my life. Do you think she ever <laughs> Are you sure she's not dead? <laughs> <laughs> Every time you look down there, she's just flicking through it. She's just reading this book. The pages never turn. <laughs> she never seems to finish it. Oh, she never moves you, from her chair. Are you sure, are you sure the Chinese her girl's cats going? cats are dead around I, her. I, I, I'm going into next door again. That little yeah. round-headed fella's smell. looking in. He's looking in at me. The bouncer goes, don't worry, love. I'll go and beat that's, him up. But he's always true. getting ready. That's true. They're they, probably... see, they see you staring at and washing up going, I could have feet here. And they get yeah. scared. The old woman's dead. <laughs> oh, Carl, dear. can you tell us roughly which neighbourhood you live in, so so it's, that we know? It's central. Central, is it? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Imagine if that little d was he a Chinese fellow? Did you say? Yeah. Imagine <laughs> if he was listening now. I'd love him to call in and explain these actions. Well, he, he might be on some other radio station talking about a lad who's always washing up and <laughs> yeah. looking at his hands in a mysterious way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but do we have this doctor? This doctor that would go well. All right, Carl. I've got. You can either leave him as stumps. Or I've got a little pair of feet. Why? Uh, I, I mean, I t told Jane this, and Jane went, D "Is that the only choice? Is he, you could say, could I have some dead man's hands? <laughs> have you got any? Have, if you, where do you get the feet from? Where do you get the feet from? Can I have? Can I have? Po what would you rather have then? Human feet or monkey paws? Well, I mean, that wasn't an option last night. That if the doctors no. said, no, it wasn't an option last night. But don't forget, it's in your head, Carl. <laughs> this didn't happen. No, this but I'm just saying, at the time, that's all the doctor had to offer. But you know, it's your head, you can go anywhere. No, 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 it wasn't a real doctor to offer. It's in your head, you can go anywhere. Y you're not trapped. <sighs> yeah, but if you can do anything, then you'd say, we'll sort us out some other hands. Fair <laughs> point, let's play so, record. So. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta come back to this. Um, what I've found is, uh, found out, like, a lot of monkeys' names. Like, that's how I found out about Oliver. Yeah. What do you mean right. you found out a lot of monkeys' names? Well, there's uh, a lot of monkeys out there, and you think they're just called monkey and what have you, but they're all given names, right? So this, this one that I found about, bit of a weird name anyway, it's actually called Crap, its name, right? And... So, they're, they're, they're not born with those names. It's not like their parents give them those names, you know? They're just... Yeah, 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 yeah. But this one, right? And, um... It's called Crap. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Right, but do you know what it's famous for? What crap? Yeah. No one. Is it involved with this show? It, um, the first monkey to have its name tattooed on its head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, I will say not by choice. There is no way that a chimp would go down to Camden Lock and go, uh, are you a registered tattooist? <laughs> I am, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the cleanest, yeah. Go, okay, um... Can I have a look through your book? Can I have a look through your book? Um, I'm looking for something quite gothic, but, um, uh, I'd like, you know... What's your name? Crap. Oh, I'm not sure I can do that, because you're not drunk, are you? I have another drink. I have another drink. I've had some... I've had some, uh, umbongo, and that's all. <laughs> uh, but no. What are you talking about? The first monkey to have its name tattooed on its head. <laughs> What are you talking about, There's Carl? gotta be more information. Don't tell me you're leaving it there. There's gotta be more information. That was it, and then I read it thinking, well that's weird because that means there's loads of monkeys with tattoos on their head. If that's the first one. No, it could be still the only one. The first and only. Yeah, but would they report that? Well, I, you don't what do you mean, would they report it? <laughs> this isn't the Washington Post you're reading. <laughs> this is mentalists who do websites about themselves every day. Oh, I, yeah, I, I, what? There's got to be a third Why is that, act that news? Story. Why is that news? What, how did you come across that? 
Well, do you- First nut monkey with tattoo head, W- I mean, what are you talking about? But why did it have its name tattooed on its head? T I don't know. Didn't, it didn't say, it didn't say that. I, I mean, I, yeah, I know, it's mad. But, <laughs> but it didn't say why. Was that enough for you, though? Did you feel satisfied out having read that? Did you not have a- I questions? mean, that, there's no way that that is in the Guinness Book of Records. There's no way uh, that that is uh, excited in the Guinness Book of Records. I just read it as like, what a weird name for a monkey. And then, <laughs> ooh, you won't have that on your head. What and would be a good name for a monkey? I don't know, uh, anything but that, really. Yeah. Uh, Dave. Ted. <laughs> but, what do you think of that then? Well, I don't know what to think about it, because I don't know what- I don't know what you're telling me. I don't know- I don't know that that's news, I don't know that it's true. Mm -hmm. I, I- I mean, I don't know where to start with that. Is that all you found? You found a, something about a, no, a I'll monkey- I'll tell you right, when I was searching for stuff on monkeys, right? Yeah. I was searching around, like I always do, looking, finding information, right? Yeah. And, um, found out- uh, are you aware of the Iceman? The Iceman? Yeah. Go on. Right. And to me, the monkey thing was more- What's the Iceman? Oh, uh, the man that was found in the ice. So you're aware a of A Neanderthal man. Right, yeah. It's Ricky, do you know Not a monkey, the though. No, no, I know, but I just was looking at, like, info. Right. The 5,000 year old fella who was preserved in a- in a glacier. That one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you find that more fascinating than the monkey? Well, I, I know that it's true. Yeah, it's true, but do you find it more fascinating? Well, simply <laughs> because it's true I find it more fascinating. I can't act on some- uh, uh, if someone- uh, anything that's true is more fascinating. But, you see, what I get from the monkey thing, you yeah. go, oh, I wonder- wonder if it was happy about that and- <laughs> But you accept it straight away, you accept that that is true and interesting and I don't know what that is. I mean, to me it sounds like a bit of cruelty towards no, animals. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, uh, uh, I mean, if that's true, it's disgusting to tattoo uh, a monkey's head. It's disgusting. Yeah. Um, do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's no way, that's what I'm saying, it doesn't do a- if a monkey, if they, if they reported that a monkey um, uh, went in and got a tattoo, <laughs> and chose it itself, and then was uh, riding a Harley Davidson down Camden. <laughs> I go, that is incredible. But I'd really want to see it on the news, and it mustn't be anywhere near the first of April. You know what I mean? I think you've just blown next week's. 